Hello, my Move With Grace friends and my new friends. Today, we're going to do some dancing. Moms and dads, if you're brand new to this channel, we welcome you. So we're going to move and stretch and learn. I'm going to encourage the children to talk and scream and laugh and have some fun. So we're going to start off and my dancers who've done this work with me at Move With Grace Dance Studio know this. We start in ballet first position and we have a little rhyme for ballet first position. In First position, my feet should be heels together in the shape of a... Did you say it? You did? Let's do it one time all together. In first position, my feet should be heels together in the shape of a V. You did such a good job. So you just taught your mom and dad or caregiver first position. I'm so proud of you. And now, are we ready to dance? We have our hands on our hips and a smile on our lips. This is my right hand. One, two, three. This is my left hand. One, two, three. This is my right foot. One, two, three. This is my left foot. Dance with me. Oh. Good job, dancers. That was excellent. We're going to put our feet in parallel first position or jazz first position, and we're going to do a little bit of stretching to get us up and moving. We're going to go up so tall. I probably went up too tall for the screen, but that's okay. Down so small, hug your knees, hug your knees, hug your knees. Out so wide, reach, 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 reach. And in so thin, reach up to the sky and touch your toes. Reach up to the sky and touch your nose. Did you say nose? Let's try that one more time. Up so tall, down so small. Hug those knees. Out so wide, in so thin, like a soldier. Be really tall, be really, pull up. Reach up to the sky and touch your toes. Reach up to the sky and touch your nose. What a good job. You're doing such a good job. I'm so glad that you joined us. Excellent. Now we're going to sit and we have to be very careful how we sit. We're going to have our arms out in demi-second. We're going to put one knee down, the other knee down. We put our gluteus maximus on the ground and swing our legs around. Might be easier if Miss Robin goes sideways here. We're going to try and sit up very, very tall so we have a nice straight back. We're going to put our fingers out to the side. We're going to pull our belly buttons into our spine. We're going to reach our feet nice and long. We're going to push up just our toes and point just our toes and pull those toes all the way to our nose and reach them all the way to a pointed toes. We don't want any toes to go like this. Yucky. And we don't want our bodies to be like this. That's not very good posture. We need to pull that imaginary string right up. 
And we're gonna do this a couple more times. We're just gonna put our hands lightly out here. Stretch those feet and flex. And point your toes and flex to your nose. And point those toes and flex to your nose. We're gonna reach up to the sky, reach past. Grab those toes if you can. If you can't grab your toes, you're just gonna put your hands here. And if you can go much further than Miss Robin, that's fantastic. Because Miss Robin is not three. She's not even four. Point those toes and flex those toes. And stretch those toes and flex those toes. Good, and we're gonna swing around. We're gonna put our heels together and we're gonna sit up nice and tall. And at this point in the class, we usually either do one of two things. We either decide that we are butterflies and we can choose the color of our butterfly. What color is your butterfly? My butterfly is purple with silver sparkles. And now I think it would be lovely if we flew to the ice cream store. And we're going to fly to the ice cream store. And oh my goodness, I'm going to have chocolate ice cream. And breath up. And let's try and reach those arms right out. In acro, we call this pike. Our shoulders are down, our back is strong, and we point those feet. And we're gonna flex those toes up to our nose again and stretch them down. And now we're gonna get up, and this is tricky. We don't wanna get up like we're, ugh. See, that's not a very pretty way to get up, is it? No, there's a trickier way, but we're going to cross our foot, one foot behind, one foot in front, and pull our belly button up to our spine. Miss Robin cheated a little and get up. Isn't that nice? Put our feet back in ballet first position. Shake our little arms out. That was a lot of work. Shake our bodies out. Shake our bodies out. Shake our bodies out. Oh, my goodness. Do you feel warm? If you want to go and get a little drink of water, that's a pretty good idea. And then you can come right back. Just pause me. Don't forget to come back. I'm waiting. All right, good job. We're going to do some plies and some rises. I'm gonna put on some beautiful plie music. Feet in ballet first position. We have our hands on our hips and a smile on our lips. Plie. Stretch. We want to try, mums and dads, to go straight down and come straight up. So this is where we're working on our posture. We don't want to have this position and we don't want to have this position. We want to keep a really nice neutral spine where our abdominals are pulled up, our rib cage is closed, our shoulders are back. We actually want to avoid a chin tucking. We want to pull that so the spine is nicely aligned. We don't force the turnout when we're little. We just have a natural first position. And we go straight down with the bent knee and up. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. Two more. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. Arms go to bra. Good job. Batman Tondu. Hands on our hips. Smile on our lips. Stretch. To second, pull that foot in, stretch to second, pull that foot in, try and push and pull and push and pull, and we're going to do 
do one to the front and we're gonna pretend there's a whole bunch of Smarties on the ground. Do you like Smarties? And we're gonna, if we push our foot this way, we're not gonna get very many Smarties. But if we push our foot this way and pull them all back, then we're gonna get lots of Smarties. Ready? Trying for the Smarties. Push. Pull. Four on this side. Pull. And push. And pull. Grow tall. Push. Pull. Other side. Press. And pull. And push. And pull. Oh, hear that swishing on the floor? And pull. I think. I think I got all the Smarties. Like Smarties. Now, we know that we have saute. And what does saute mean, kids? Do you remember? Hmm. You're right. Saute means to jump. In a ballet, sol saute has how many parts to it? Hmm, how many parts does a ballet saute? What? Three? How did you guess that? Now, what are the three parts? The first part is a, shout it out. What's that word? What's the first part? It's a plie. The second part is the chop. And the third part is most important. It's the plie. And then we stretch back up. And we're also going to try and be very, very quiet. So listen to Miss Robin. This isn't going to sound very nice. Oh my goodness. I shook my whole house. But if I use my plie, Miss Robin sounded nice and light. And we're gonna sound nice and light. And remember back from our other plies, when you do the saute, is this right? No! This is a secret. You don't wanna go sticking that out. All right, so we'll pull up nice and tall, go down, press and down. Those are our sautés, and mm -hmm. we know a fancier sauté, some of my friends, too. What do we call the fancy sauté when we go out and in? Hmm. It's a French word, and it means escape. Do you know the name, friends? Who said a chape? You're right. So we're going to go plie and we're going to jump up in the air. We're going to hold our feet together in the air. And we're going to jump out to the second. Then we're going to jump back into first. Let's try it together. Ready? Plie, jump up tall and land in second. Stretch up tall. Plie, jump up tall and land in first. Oh my goodness. We're going to put sautés and a chape sautés together. I just am going to get your music. Hands on your hips, smile on your lips. Plie, jump. Plie, stretch up tall. Plie, jump. Plie, stretch up tall. Plie, jump. Plie, stretch up tall. And plie, jump. Plie, stretch up tall. Tricky ones, plie out. Stretch up tall. Plie, jump in. Stretch up tall. Plie, jump out. Stretch up tall. Plie, jump in. Stretch up tall. So moms and dads and grandparents and caregivers, whoever's with my little people today, Sometimes it's wonderful to use some props. We use all kinds of props. And 
Today, I have this beautiful scarf, and this scarf is from my friends at Acrobatic Arts. It's a pretty one. So if you wanna pause this video, you can get a scarf, you can get a tissue, you can get a wonderful, you know, one of mommy's pretty scarves, and meet me back here. We're going to do some lovely creative movement with your beautiful scarves. All right, you're back. You're back. We're going to sway with your beautiful scarf. Listen to that music. Sway, 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 sway. Sway, sway, sway. Oh my goodness, you're good at swaying. You don't have to sway exactly like Miss Robin. Good job. And now we're going to spin and we're going to try and keep looking at Miss Robin. We're going to leave our head here and whip it around. Leave your head and whip it around. See me. See me the whole time. See me the whole time. You did a great job. I hope you're not dizzy. If you're dizzy, look at your hand. And now we're going to be like Olaf. And we're going to melt. melting let's jump up because we're going to jump feet in jazz first position or parallel first and we're like a tigger bounce bounce reverence is at the end of a class and it shows respect for your teacher and it shows the teachers love and respect for the students. So at the very end of the class, it's a lovely way to say thank you. So thank you for spending these few minutes with me. I miss my dancers, but I am so excited to be with you, even if it's on the TV or iPad or on the phone. I'm grateful that you're dancing. So we're going to do our reverence to music. I'm gonna teach it to you first. We're going to step to second, stretch that foot, pretend this foot is hiding, plie. That's called a curtsy. Step, point, tuck that foot behind and plie. Now, you don't have to do that reverence. That's just one option. Some of our dancers will prefer to put one hand in front of their body and one hand behind and do a nice bow. Or the other way, nice bow. And that is totally acceptable too. Whatever makes you comfortable. So I'm going to play the reverence music. I personally, I'm kind of a princess. I enjoy the curtsy one, but if you like the bow, you do the bow. Absolutely your choice. Ready for our reverence. Thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for trying really hard. Keep stretching. Keep dancing. 